Welcome to the audiobook, The Defiant Maid, written by Jennifer Francis, narrated by Marie Hawkins. Prologue Jayla I just need two minutes of your time. Jayla pleaded with the future Alpha of her pack, Alpha Nathan, of the Blood Moon pack. She had a hand on his arm. He was frowning down at that hand. Then those deep, dark blue eyes she had once drowned in glared at her, at her touch in a deep, disapproving manner. They had been lovers casually for just over a year now, but it was all over now. He had found his fated mate gifted to him by the moon goddess herself. And just like that, he no longer had even a minute to spare for her. Jayla had loved him with all she had, her whole heart, even though she had known this day would come. She had always kept the relationship with him light, playful, and fun, so he would never know she was in love with him. He was not her fated mate, nor she his. She just wanted to wish him well and let him know that she was going to leave and finish her law degree on campus full-time, that she would be interning on her breaks, and she wouldn't be coming home for the next two years at least. Jayla just couldn't watch him with his fated mate, watch how happy they would be, how in love, see them around making out and getting all hot and heavy, when it used to be her and him. It would just cause too much heartache. She would never tell him that, though. As she stood there clinging to his arm, pleading for just two minutes of his time, she was trying to smile up at him brightly like she always did. His faded mate Sophia walked into the room, glared at Jayla and the way she was holding on to him. Sophia did not care about the fact that Nathan and Jayla had been friends since childhood. For 20 years, they had known each other, a fun friendship that she cherished. Sophia's wolf snarled at the sight before her and Sophia yelled, Get your filthy, dirty paws off my mate! She had stalked over and yanked Jayla's hand off his arm and yanked her away from Nathan. Her other hand had stuck her, slapping her face so hard that Jayla staggered a step backwards, her hand touching her now stinging cheek. Cora, Jayla's wolf, roared with rage inside of her mind, at the hurt and pain, the sheer viciousness of the sudden attack. Cora had raced forward, ripping to the surface before Jayla could stop her and with claws pushing out of her fingertips, stuck Sophia right back, a full slap to her face, all claws out, tearing through the skin on the future Luna's face, leaving three bloody scratches down her face, the blood dripping off her onto her clothes. Sophia had screamed in pain from the attack on her own face, clutching at her face with both hands, her eyes turning to her mate as tears spilled down her bloody face. Jayla knew she would heal, and quickly, she had a wolf. Nathan's blue eyes had widened at the sight of his mate's injury. He reached out for his mate and cradled her in his arms, holding her to his chest to comfort her. His blue eyes turned to Jayla. They were so filled with rage, his wolf right there with him. He roared in anger at the pain inflicted on his mate by her. Leave this pack, don't you ever come back. Jayla stared at him, horrified by his words, tears brimming in her green eyes. It was treason to attack the Luna or Alpha, or even the future Luna or Alpha of your pack. And her wolf had just done that, attacked the future Luna with claws out. She turned and hurried out of his office. If she stayed a minute longer, she would only incur further punishment, or perhaps death. Cora whined in distress and pain at leaving him, leaving their home, leaving their family. She knew, as did Jayla, they would never be allowed to come home again. If he had been the actual Alpha, she would have just been banished and marked as rogue with nowhere to go. Jayla's steps quickened as she headed out the packhouse front door, till she was running with tears streaming down her face. She headed for her car. She didn't dare stay a minute longer. What if he changed his mind? What if his mate changed his mind on her punishment and wanted her beaten and imprisoned or dead? There was no time to say goodbye to her family, her mom, dad, or her older brother. She just ran, tears streaming, and headed for her car. She heard the future beta of the pack, Jackson, call out after her. Jayla, what's wrong? There was concern in his voice, but she didn't stop to tell him, just got in the car and drove away as fast as she could to get off pack territory before worse was to come. At least he hadn't had the power to demote her to a worthless rogue on the spot. Her only blessing at the time. It could still happen, though. His father, Alpha Blaine, would choose whether or not that was still to come. He would hear Sophia Nathan's side of the story and judge her from it. Why? Jayla asked her wolf Cora, sobs racking her as she drove away back to the university she had spent the past two years studying at. 
Lucky for her, she lived on campus and had a dorm to retreat to, somewhere to go. Now she couldn't return to her pack. Protect Pop! Cora howled in pain. Jayla's tears burned even more. Her heart ached so much she didn't know if she could endure it. A baby. His baby. And he had just tossed her away like garbage and forbidden her to return. The pain in her chest and inside of Cora felt as though it was ripping them apart. But they had to endure it, survive it for their pup.